three, four. But it's a 99, baby. It's my favorite time of the day. But it's a 99, baby. Can't wait to hear what they have to say. All right, Morgan, you're up sure. first. Number nine, this might be a tough one to figure out. These little yellow pieces are going to be attached to another piece. Do you know what they are? Don't look at the monitor. I'm not. Some type of Lego thing, right? Yeah, good job. They are mini figures of Legos. Those are the wool heads. Oh. Yeah, that will cost $45. <laughs> <laughs> it's so <laughs> true. Exactly right. <laughs> All right. Hmm. All right, number eight. Uh, how much is this hat? It's just what it looks like. It's a hat or a baseball cap. It's not lined with $100 bills. It's not made with silk from angel's wings. It's a hat. How much do you think it costs? Hmm. That's got to be at least $28. $235, Larry. For what? It's made by the Italian luxury brand called Moncler. Of course. The description says, sporty and timeless, this baseball cap features a felt logo patch. Oh, well, okay. there you go. There, it's worth it. <laughs> it's a felt logo patch. Come on. You don't understand. Uh, you know, you're not trying to keep up and be trendy, nah, Larry. The French. <laughs> I think it was Italian. I think it was Italian. Oh, was it? Oh. <laughs> but the French, too. The yeah. French, too. At number seven, this uh, frilly black dress at H&M has the internet divided. Some say it's the most beautiful feminine dress they've seen. Others call it depressing. A woman posted a picture on Facebook declaring her love for the dress. Millions loved it, but we're here for the people who don't like it. Mm -hmm. One person said it's giving Wednesday Adams vibes. Another said it's like a 19th century Queen Victoria morning dress. It's $68 if you're interested. Hmm. I'm not sure that, why that was so divisive. Yeah, it's <laughs> a black dress. There, well, there you go. Uh -huh. hmm. Whatever. All right, number six, according to a new study, 89% of young girls feel the pressure to be perfect. The Lego toy company surveyed 62,000 parents and kids in 36 countries. They found that 79% of young girls associate the world perfect with negative emotions. And 74% said they avoid tasks or activities because they're afraid they won't do them perfectly. The survey also finds that artistic projects created by girls are seven times more likely to be called sweet, pretty, or cute, while boys' creations are twice as likely to be mm. called innovative, genius, mm. or cool. Mm. And social media has made that even better yeah. for them. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. All right, number five. This is a look at an eagle's nest in Big Bear Lake, California. It's about two hours straight east of Los Angeles. And there's a couple that lives in this nest, Jackie and Shadow. For a few years, the great nonprofit Friends of Big Bear Valley have used cameras to monitor them. The couple's produced some eggs and baby eagles over the years, which local school kids then give names like Stormy or Midnight. And they have some new eggs. And we can check in on them right now. There's a live camera that's 24-7. Yep. There it is. Oh. This is live, huh? It is live. <laughs> Do something. Yeah. Entertain us. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Just keeping the eggs warm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, they moved a little. Okay. Well. Here we go. That's uh Oh, I'm sorry, there's more to read. Jackie oh, and yeah. <laughs> Jackie and Shadow take turns sitting on the eggs. Jackie is the female and she is the bigger one. She laid the eggs about 40 days ago. They call this pip watch because a pip is the crack in the egg that the baby eagle will make when it's getting ready to hatch. Wow. Well, mm. That would have been better to read is. while we were yeah. staring yeah. at the yeah. bird. Mm. Well, huh. apologies. Keep our eye on it. Yep. Let me see that thing moving. Yeah. <laughs> Number four, in 2001, a 28-year-old baseball player from Japan came to play in America with a lot of hype, and Ichiro Suzuki more than lived up to it. He recorded more than 3,000 hits in the majors and won 10 gold gloves across 19 seasons. As he learned to speak English pretty well, and he, and he learned to speak English pretty well along the way, back in his rookie year, Bob Costas asked him a good question. What is your favorite American expression? <laughs> in 
August in Kansas City, it, it's, it's hotter than two rats in the f***ing old sock. That's my favorite. I have a bad teammate. <laughs> I he, didn't said, hear him. he said, uh, Kansas City in August is hotter than two rats in a wool sock. <laughs> <laughs> That's wow. his favorite. I didn't know people expression. were going around saying that a lot. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, in Kansas City. <laughs> yeah, I can mean. teach him a few better ones. Yeah. yeah that's great. Uh, number three, take a look at this picture. What do you call this person? A crossing guard, right? Depends yeah. on where you're from because British people would call her a lollipop lady. That sounds good. Or dirty. a lollipop man if it's a guy. In Australia, it's also a lollipop lady, and that's because the signs they carry across the pond and in Australia are large circles, <laughs> like big lollipops. Here in America, our signs are octagon shaped, uh, so that's why they don't call them lollipop people in America. Huh. Hmm. You know. All right, number two, here's a review of a fancy new restaurant from 1988. We found this on TikTok. Take a look. It's called the Olive Garden. It's a new Italian restaurant, yeah. and it is so popular that ever since it opened, which was about one month ago, they have had 45-minute waits at lunch and oh. dinner. I mean, people are just going in droves to this place. And when you go in, you see what they're going for, which is they call kind of an Italian garden setting. And it is a hit, as you can see. You can get those breadsticks and salad uh, complimentary with the entrees. And they're All really you can eat. Now there's what they call the tour of Italy. If you'd like to try a number of different things, it includes a grilled chicken parmesan. It's like grandma made, right? Uh, are you Lasagna. kidding me? Yeah, the inside is like Rome. Land. Good variety of food. I would probably tell them that it's a really neat environment, and their food and spaghetti is excellent. That's what I had today. And the service is great. I was really impressed. We have a four-point rating system, four being the best and one being the worst. And we start out with food. And for food, now this might come as a surprise because we've been raving about it. For food, I gave it two and a half. Oh. I'll tell you what, I went there twice. Some things were really good. I mean, I like their soup and their salad was good. Their dessert was good. Some of the other wrong. things um, no. were just okay. I gave it a two and a half also. Oh. I had a problem with their tomato sauce. I just didn't like their tomato sauce on the veal that was a heavy lemon sauce. Yeah, I that didn't lemon sauce, that veal. And the pastas were also quite well cooked, so they were kind of sticky. You know, they weren't like al dente. The appetizers were a little too breaded for me. Ah, so. wow. That's right, oh, Stephen oh, Sherry. Nice. Wow. Well this. done. This is a pleasant this is a surprise. surprise. Yeah. Raving about it. I'll ah. tell you what. Those are good breadsticks. I still don't mind it. Yeah. I just get, I would have got a little higher. Yeah. I would have thought, you know, that's me. But wow, 1988. Go figure. Mm -hmm. All right, My number. grandmother would say <laughs> these Medigons. <laughs> <laughs> Um, number one, it's time for an oldie but a goodie. Now there are workplace safety videos, but then there's the OG of workplace safety sure. videos. This is It Only Takes a Minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this never gets old. Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Well, he's on borrowed time anyway. Uh-oh. It's like three stooges uh -oh. meets ah! Roadrunner. Oh, oh, that hurt. Uh-oh. This is teaching anyway. <laughs> 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 oh. Hey, you guys, look at you! Hey! Oh, my gosh! Oh, my <gasps> God! Oh, my Lord! <laughs> Oh, oh, seriously. Oh! 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 I forgot about all that. <laughs> the most no, compelling thing we've I, had on this show all morning. I Ooh. think we've stopped the video in the past before. <laughs> Before the, well, that was a mistake. Before, before the, the box cutter and the, and the foot went in the lawn It's you know, stuff you would have seen in a let B me tell you something. movie. When you don't put your foot in the lawnmower, you're going to be thanking that video. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Wow. That was, that was oh, some good stuff. Oh, well, that's a nine and nine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nine and nine is a whole lot of fun.